died as much as possible. Weird pathing. Uh, I said left side, yeah. We need to get the keep the arms alive. Okay. Could jump. Have the heat. Not the stability though. Let's move to there. Okay. Can't believe our fucking pilot ejected. Alright, he didn't roll first for once. He's on a 19. We're on a 20. I'd like to get in there and kill this guy. Pretty sure I can. Okay. Alright, let's turn on the supercharger. And the mask. Some minefield along the way, because there always is. I don't even know where those are coming from. I mean, they're, they're missiles, but what, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, I would like to attack the... No, I want to attack the other guy. Excuse me. I can sprint 10 tiles past him. There's no way I can't attack him. Don't give me this shit. Gun's still jammed. Alright, why can't I attack this guy? Target needs to be in direct sight to melee. Um, is that even right? Because I'm pretty sure I don't have direct sight to anything over there. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a mountain in between me and the melee targets that I can melee. My lance mates do. You know what else? Because I turned on those superchargers, I can't reserve to get sight. That sucks. Well, it's not the super heavy that we we're going after. I don't think we'll get to kill the super heavy. It's so annoying. I can't punch this fucking centurion. Turn these off now. Yeah. Okay. We care, bro. Alright. And start blowing off arms to get rid of these fucking heavy PPCs. You can try to take off a leg. It's got... 200 and or 186 he's gonna have pretty significant reductions yeah it does feel a little bit like that all right we're definitely sensor locking him that's happening 
Okay, and then we're gonna get somewhere. I'm a bit worried we die. We do this. What arm was it? I don't want to eat those fucking PPCs at close range. Uh, his arm is his left arm. Okay. No guns volatile. He takes side slots. Okay. It's outside of optimal. It's inside optimal. That's inside optimal and a side shot. All right, what are we looking at? Accuracy 67, could called shot it. Want that arm. Arm or the leg? Doesn't matter, we can't take the leg because he's fucking covered. He's like minus 40% reduction, so we want the arm. All right, arm's at 91% at 55. And it takes, we'll take two hits to get it. Let's just start. Just hit him in the head. No, he panicked him and he ejected. So for the first time, if we had, so troll, man, that's a full fucking mech. We could have a super heavy right now with five loot. Can't ever have gotten five luck, five loot. This is only ever a three loot roll, but all right. Yeah, one part exactly. Well, I really wish our guy hadn't ejected. This mission would have been fucking great otherwise. Lost the arm. So unfortunately, the biggest issue here is how much damage this does to us financially, right? We're running this mission for money, but we probably just lost like 3 million in mods, maybe? I think you are just not wanting to die, basically. I can get LOS from the left side here. All right. Lost an arm actuator. We can't uh, replace either. Okay. I don't need to do that. Dude, why is he rolling high now? Like, you went last the entire fucking game, and now you're going first? Fuck you. Get your, yeah, we're taking your spine. That's it. It's spine time. Soften up his back. We can live with that. Was that the end of the round? Maybe that was the end of the round. Oh, it might have been the end of the round. All right, never mind. That's fine. Done. Okay. <laughs> we took his spine. We took it with rockets. All right. So here's what will happen. Um, I think there's a setting that's like, I've never had a pilot eject before. It's the first time we've had that happen. And then an eject from a mech that's still what tons of health is really frustrating. So let's see what the, the income of that is. First of all, where's my 1.1 million that we negotiated? This is 849K. All right, take a look here. Giant spider lost an arm. Uh, took significant armor damage. So we lost 
gunnery support B, sensor tracker, which is fucking really expensive, and the rangefinder th plus plus plus. That sucks. Okay. All right. We get one piece of loot. We can take the big fucking gun. I love that there's just gonna be parts there that we just can't get. It's the whole mech is there. There's literally five parts of a mater. Troll, troll, troll game. All right, what else is there? Gauss rifle times two. Heavy PPCs times two, which never exploded for him. Mm. I think the periphery rifle is pretty garbage. Cooling jackets. Minus one recoil with ranged weapons. Minus 15% heat generated. Can explode. Those look pretty good, actually. Um, it's Ballistic Plus and Artemis 4. Gyro Defense Plus Plus, which is always very good. T2 Patchworks, two Tier 1 Patchworks. Spiked Fist, Spiked Helmet. Heavy Flamer Ammo. Double Gauss Ammo. Heavy Gauss Ammo. Ammo Railgun. Okay. Ammo UAC 10 Clan. Uh, we have not that, okay. Four DHS stack. Standard fusion. What's caseless? Oh, caseless, not clan. Okay, thanks, chat. Doesn't caseless mean... Hang on. Sure, sure. CL, where every other C in the game is clan, CL here will be something different. Sure, I'm with you. Makes total sense. Uh... What is a Zeus? Increased damage, increased jam chance. Do we want this thing? It sells for 3.9 million. Damage fall off to recoil. Optimal of between 240 and 720. Uh, it loses damage at long range, but long range is above 720. Maybe even, I actually think long range may actually be Actually, I'm not sure how that works, but it's it's very far before this loses damage. Has a 10 misfire chance, misfire multiplier recoil times multipliers misfire chance. Explodes for 100 damage when destroyed. Can fire canister, gauss, HGR, railgun ammo. Discharges for another 200 when destroyed. Takes six weapon slots reserved in torsos. I mean, this has got to be the most valuable part that we can get, right? We only get one part. That are the two pirate PPCs. We've got one of our own, but... I didn't like the secondary modes on this, though. I think we're taking the... What do these sell for? 980. I think we're taking this. The other thing... Oh, man. The double gauss, though. We have one of these. Not super excited by them yet. I don't know how much one part of the mech sells for. I don't think one part, I don't think that has value there. Double Gauss is better for what cost? 500K each? No. 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 Good chat, chat. All right, got an Ospor, an engine core, and the two heavy pirate PPCs. But we have nothing that can run a Gauss. We already checked that weapon system. We need a heavier mech to realistically mount um, multiple Gauss. 
it's like a long range you're trading like range for range and weight for like heat and uh, heat and distance or rather you're paying um weight for uh reduced heat and uh you're paying weight and paying damage for reduced heat and reduced distance essentially with gauss right now do i, do I still have four orions i have no idea we're taking that done all right so what happens with my i lost all the the headgear this is 180k for repairs. Good. We wanted difficulty. We got difficulty. That's what I've been asking for. So excellent. I wish I hadn't lost the equipment is the only thing. All right. So what does that actually look like? So what are they doing? They're putting a new head on four ball and it takes nine days to put a head on. What are you doing for the other eight and a half days? Pairing the armor, apparently. Fine. Okay. So we need to get this stuff worked on. It's three days before we have a team that can go somewhere. And even then, we're a little light on people. This is two. This is two. One, one. We only need one more day after that anyways. We can run that too. One, two, three. So if we do this, what happens? So it ticks, maybe even put that up there. So that ticks two days, those come back. And we would have been one day and then it's two days and these come back. So that's four days waiting and we get time worked on this. I think that's better. Question is, do we wait on this? So these mechs coming off the line would have been really helpful, but I'm not sure they're there. Fuck losing all of our head mods, man. That's so much money. All right, we have eight days. We need to pay 1.8 million. We have parts to sell for sure, but okay. I'm not gonna do that though, Zanthalus. Well, I mean, maybe I do need to do that. It's just it's so annoying to put armor on individually. But you're probably right. We probably do need to pull the giant spider. Because it's going to be putting stupid shit on there, right? So we probably need to pull that out. And we probably need to work on... I don't know what happens with... Like, what do they... Do? I guess we could look at four ball here. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's do some refitting here. So, repair all. We lose the lower arm actuator things valuable to me okay you can throw on non um i don't i don't think we're ready to refit this quite yet we're getting close we gotta get some heavy flamer ammo um i think it's still gonna be an lrm boat for us right now but it can't it can't stand with it, i can't be having a hundred ton mech shoot shoot at this fucking thing you just can't handle that uh we do have the lrms to work with this Feels bad to downgrade these. I think we might even have another one of these arms. It's a lower arm actuator. We actually do. Okay. And then it's uh, armor, apparently. Probably that, right? Okay. All right, we good? Do I have to repair other things? Shit, 
You know what we maybe should have considered doing is pulling the rangefinder out of that guy. He's got a rangefinder plus two on the. Uh, uh, hold on a minute. Let's fix that. We gotta swap these out. Where's my? Just told you to stop work on my dude. Might have to replace those headpieces. Um, Artemis 4 is fine. Range finder plus plus needs to go back on the other one. Tactic support's okay. Sensor tracker probably needs to go on the PPC as well. All right, what do we have for headgear to fix this? It's two pieces. And the pieces are sensors and cockpit. I think we're pretty low on sensors right now. We actually could really use a powered sensors here. Get missile accuracy is fine, I guess, for the... Oh, it's FCS. The FCS is fine. Can, we're going to have trouble getting a lock with these two things gone, though. Probably need to run this. And we desperately need better sensors and don't have one, I think. They might sell sensors here. We might have to just grab something. I think all of the rest of these are not sensors. either okay so it's that put our weapons back on Oops. okay base one is giving me yes it's not actually that bad either okay this goes up to 110 this goes up to 70 Chad, I like it. I feel a little challenged after that mission. It feels fucking good to be challenged again in this game since it hasn't challenged us in like days. The lower arm, thank you. Okay. I didn't like how the enemy super heavy seemed to ignore a lot of, the, or the enemy assault seemed to ignore a lot of the things you'd expect. It's kind of weird that it has such high initiative. Maybe initiative's not related to mech size, but I always assumed it was in some degree. And I didn't like how it ignored, um, its accuracy was absurd. Like we're running with like seven pips of like, seven pips of evasion on some of the times and it's just pegging us for a billion. I don't like that either. So I don't know, I did just re-enable one of the mods um, that was like super elite pilots. And I'm okay with pilots with a lot of skill points but I want them to pay attention to my buffs. Having buffs is like one of the things you build for, right? So I don't know. I don't know if uh, that was just bad rolls for us or if they're all gonna be like that, but if it's always super heavies ignoring your shit, then all you can do is build armor and that's stupid. Like the whole point of running E-Wars and moving and whatnot is supposed to be to give your guys survivability that isn't just taking a hit. I don't know about smoke, haven't seen that yet. All right, so let's look at replacing the head. Dude, I had tier one. I apparently had patchwork in the fucking head too because he's running three sets. That's annoying. Like no other mech had that. So we just lost something else from that. Oh, we lost our FCS to Mark II. Ouch. FCS TC Mark II. This is a really expensive head to lose. I mean, this is like, they're like a million, they're like a million for each of these modules. For each of those, this might be like 500K. It's probably like three and a half million off that head module. All right, what can we do about that? Okay. 
we can build in some stuff here. Fucking guy just broke it all too. They weren't even we weren't even dead on this guy. We were fine. Just punches out randomly like a fucking piece of shit. Who was that pilot so we can all right, so we're gonna get a decreased value rangefinder, unfortunately. Trade a three for a two. We're gonna have to get those sensor tracker back in. No, it wasn't headshot. We are, our pilot didn't die, he ejected, he panic ejected. Um, gunnery supports, can't replace right now. Have to get the patchwork, we're gonna lose some armor, we might have to lose armor. And then we have an FCS. So we can get us clan FCS, accuracy bonus of two increasing with range, increases every 210. Has thermal and heat vision though. Uh, doesn't have night vision though, just thermal. No, none of my pilots have ejecting traits. They all have anti-ejecting traits. So we've replaced the cockpit, so it won't be that. The comm suite is the cockpit, it won't be that. We can probably get rid of this, like basically never use this thing. Although maybe we can, anyways, we'll see. Um, wasn't small cockpit, we already have cockpit. Wasn't armored cow. Pirate FCS, gain a recoil. Our recoils are one or two right now off these. One. We probably can support, the problem is heat off this, right? It's accuracy with ranged weapon, evasion pips. I don't think we have the heat for that. The FCS improved, 10% called shots, okay. Zoom of two every 180 is fine. Thermal vision and night vision. Night vision's actually pretty good on long range, guys. That might be worth throwing in. Okay. All right. Okay, so we lost the gunnery skill on this guy. It kind of sucks. I don't know if we have one more light patchwork. Looks like we probably don't. Bummer. Um, we have armor repairs to do on this guy now. All right, so that was at least 100. We, we're going to have to figure out where we take... Um, this guy took some serious hits off that heavy. Look at his fucking armor. He was rocking a lot of it, too. I don't remember how much they had. Okay. He's missing a lot of armor, that's why he panicked. That's not to be fair. He still had probably more health than half the mechs out there. Piece of shit. Lost two tenths of a ton. Um, what else do we want with this? Do we lose a jump jet? No, we had two. Are we waiting on a jump jet on this guy? So I got two right now. Oh, he's got the wing system though. Leg armor's weird. Yeah, it's slightly off. There's two ones that are slightly off. We've got one there and one there. This is probably too much center torso versus arm armor by a little bit, or rather side torsos versus arms. I don't think I have anything else for weight right now though. So I think we have to roll with this. Go. Fives, 145s, 155s, back armor's there. This is probably just a little bit in here. Like that, I guess. Perfect. All right, 10 days. 
feels not amazing, but that's what we got. Confirm. We lost a piece here, unfortunately. Lost the patchwork. Life support is destroyed. Replace it. It's already replaced. Game. Okay. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. All right. Rebuilding ahead. No thanks to somebody. So getting the next mission underway. That's a three, a two, and a three, a two, and a one. And another one. And another one on the third day. With this guy ticking. Okay. All right. This is okay. Let's move it forward. I think it's three days so we can run another mission. We do need to run another mission here. We just took a lot of financial losses. So this needs to go to day four. Did we finally hit it? Hard mode? Let's find out. That might have just been a fluke. We have hit other hard missions, but they seem to be super flukes. One, two, one more. Okay. There it is. All right. All of our little ones are repaired. So what do we actually have for missions? Two more like this, 1.3s, 1.1s, 890s. We need money. Uh, how much money do we need? Four days, we need another ship repair. Need a lot. So it should be another high roll mission money if we can. Okay. All right. Versus pirates. Versus pirates. Versus pirates. Versus local government. All right. Going to 900k in one, I think. Okay. If you want money, the missions with bonus objectives are better. Good call. Um, how do I know which ones those are? Tracking an extremely heavy mech. It's probably not a good one to go after. Ancestral military base, that one probably. Okay, this is one of the ones that's gonna have multiple objectives. This is a strike on our base. Let's have to have like a thousand objectives, right? So something like this then, okay. Uh, salvage does not always sell better than pure money in this game. Okay. And it doesn't hit the multipliers and uh, if you're fighting mechs with fucking just bad tech, sometimes it's worse. So we're only running five mechs here and we're missing one of our frontliners, which kind of sucks. Actually missing a lot of our heavier mechs, quite honestly. Okay. Uh, we need to, that's the one we're running. It's forward observers. We need to do barracks promotions. Okay. All right. I assume I get that when I get the last point in tactics anyways, right? Cause we still don't have this confirmed. Do we know, chat, about this? I'm supposed to get these modifiers, right? We've seen the recoil one work, presumably. All right, Nobu is building towards that. She doesn't have it yet. Pathfinder is building down here, I believe, for called shot bonuses. Okay. Mech warrior training. 
Adrenaline, new pilot. Building towards that. Okay. Why building towards this? Why do I want more sensor locks? I've been pretty unexcited about sensor locks. Am I just building for the called shot masters? I guess. Yeah. Training complete. Yeah, you keep saying the same thing, Libby, and we keep answering you. Commander. It's pretty clear you've just tuned into this playthrough and don't know what's going on in it. And you keep telling me something that's not true. You keep telling me that salvage is always better and it isn't. Uh, what are we doing with the Care Bear here? Waiting. What are we doing on this guy? We, I was going to go for the fucking berserk on this guy, but I think I honestly I need to go. Um, I need to build the rest of the stuff because I got to get up to mech eight so I can use the um, the acceleration. So we're gonna take that. We don't run cold fire very often. Yeah, but selling salvage doesn't make as much money, dude. The best salvage parts we're getting are like 300k, best, and we don't get many of those. All right, moving towards this then for piloting. Okay. Um. Okay, that guy's good. Dust Raker just leveled. It's another point in melee accuracy and piloting, which is great. Okay. The melee mech has been doing extremely good work the last couple times we've been heavily pressured. He really seems to shine with the wealth of like vehicle targets on the map. All right, uh, Hell Reaper is gonna become one of the ace pilots. Oh, they need some gunnery along the way. Maybe up to recoil one. Okay. Training confirmed, Commander. Good to go. I don't know, man. Like, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're excited to be catching some rogue tech with us. I'm excited to have you as a viewer. But um, catch up for a second before you start offering repeated advice that the streamer declines each time. All right. All right, I think we're good here. The only question really is, where do we keep going on these? The question becomes, do we need this for this bonus or does this bonus trigger automatically with one more tactics? Because I don't need this bonus except in very specialized boats. I only need this on the indirect fire boats. And if that's the case, then putting skills and other things is pretty relevant to me. Um, Mostly the second recoil benefit up here, right? Just what I'm building towards. Okay. All right, let's grab that. Mech warrior training yeah, we don't need shit on chat. Just, just you know, let's just try to get the, get it situated, so we can all enjoy the uh, the game together, which is what we're doing as most of us. Got a new player, new person stepping in, getting used to the new channel. It's cool. We can deal with that. All right, let's run our uh, our command center. We're gonna go for the forward observers. We're gonna negotiate on one piece of salvage again. I, it, feels, it does sometimes feel like there's a fucking hidden modifier, right? You go for one piece of salvage as opposed to max salvage and suddenly all the good shit's dropping. All right, uh, we're gonna have to get carried by that Valkyrie again. All right, fatigued, fatigued, fatigued. Probably going somewhere else. All right, uh, we get the access to Berserk here. We're probably leaving system after this mission. We just need enough to survive the transit to the next system. We we could consider after this too. Let's see how this difficulty goes. Are we gonna kick, we're gonna go to a five-star system or a four-star system? I was gonna go to a five, but that last mission just was like, oh, okay. Because we can't, if every mission ends up being like that, we'll have to either fuck with settings, which would be fine, or um, we'll have to do, we'll have, there has to be some in between those. Yeah, we will sell baby mech parts. We're not, I'm not worried about going broke, but I am worried about, um, I do want to make sure we're not 
cutting it super close and then going somewhere we can't get out of again. Um, anyways, so we're going to run, I need to get Nobu leveled the rest of the way to Berserk, but I'm worried about the difficulty with only five mechs available of my seven and all of them the lighter variants. So we're going to bring Dustraker as our melee pilot. Um, what are these? Shadowhawk really wants to be piloted by Aramaki. If we have it, we don't. No one else has uh, Ace Pilot yet, unfortunately. Or not Ace Pilot, but the other one. Um, four fives. So we are going to need decent tactics on the Giant Spider. Probably nine. That I could work with that just fine. P is the PPC boat. Death Crusade tends to do fine in that. Would like a um, two more here. Pilot wise, five five two five. No, the Centurion needs to be doing a lot of work this round, so it needs to be a pretty high skill pilot, probably with called shot, probably either Pathfinder with six tactics, one called shot, or test, probably test in that. And then this one can be run by this guy with the eights. No rookies on this one, unfortunately, but worried about the difficulty relative to our mechs for this. So let's go. Okay. But tell me, that just upped my interest in this game so much, though. That mission. Like, so much. Although, if, it, if they all act like that, where they just ignore everything I do and are just like massive hit sinks that just can shoot me through everything, I may have to uninstall that like super extreme pilot mod. Electo recommended, Lady Electo recommended not installing that anyways. I just reinstalled it this morning for the added difficulty. But if they're gonna just behave or they just don't give a shit about any of our dodge pips, like that's just, I don't think that thing missed us like more than once in that mission for like seven rounds firing at medium max sprinting with six to seven sprint pips and a shit ton of ECM on my entire group, which is kind of bullshit. Command interface initiated. All right. Oh, I read this wrong. I thought this was to defend the base, but apparently it's destroy a lance setting up. All right. the mission until there are more enemy lances eh. I don't want to I don't want to be manipulating the game in that way I want the game difficulty to scale on scale like it's supposed to okay oh that was supposed to be a tag barrage I wasn't supposed to be firing regular ones looks like the tag barrage missed too whoops Okay. Confirmed. Feels bad. Yeah. Oh, look at this. No jump sets. We'd lose the mission right here. He's landed on a on a ridge. Get fucked, friend. A little hill that you cannot step down. It looked a lot like a mech stepping stool to me, but apparently not. 
no, I'm fine. I'm fine with having that difficulty saws. I just wish it was a little bit more predictable when that would be. Although I do wish that mech behaved. Uh, I, I'm not sure yet if I what I think about these super pilots. I want them. The enemy mech pilots need a little bit of love, but they need like a little bit of love in tactics, not in terms of just like ignoring everything. And a helicopter ally. That's the worst, isn't it? Okay. Hover cars still acting derpy. Hover cars are fine. It's the helis that are the problem. And it's not even they act derpy. It's that they they tend to bug. I mean, it is they bug out basically. Get a move that lets me do that. This is snub nose. Where's the snub nose range? Right there, looks pretty good. Okay. Go, go, Griffin. 43 is not insanely great, but. Okay. Uh, one warning shot across the prow there. Just to let him know. This is probably better served as a jump. Jump and a fortify. Okay. I do need to get those other ECMs on, or AC AMSs on. Probably more minefield. The helicopter moved all on its own. Well done, helicopter. Maybe it's breaking the helicopter curse. Okay. We're going to be overheating on that guy, unfortunately. On our AMS there. Okay, so how's the new round? Oh, it's not still end of the last round. Got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Acid hit me. Seven times too? Does that mean it's 70% damage increase on that character? Yeah, we got a little bone because our, our spine puller got uh, prevented from getting to a decent position. Could look to see now like how likely we are we to get the spine. 130 or 125 rather. Ready for are they currently in any sort of protection? It doesn't look like it. Test 9 does have sensor lock to set them up. This is round 22, so we're miles ahead of them. I don't think we can get there with the sprint though. Kind of close. Enemies off to our left now as well, spitting acid at us, annoyingly. We can get fairly close here, probably actually in optimal for this thing. That is optimal. Which is just where I'd like to be with an auto cannon. This is probably then a sensor lock, that guy. Maybe should have um, delayed the turn. Get into cover. Face that way ish. A 
Look him in dead in the eye. Kill him. Ooh, long fire plus. Oh, destroyed. Bummer. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're not getting loot in this mission anyways. Okay. Alright. Unlikely we're going to get in a good spot here. But I did see we could turn on the thing, turn it off if we ended in cover. We might be able to get a decent barrage off. They're pretty clumped. Not sure it matters. They're pretty light mechs. I don't know what a rough mech is. Um, it's not a vehicle is my point. But All right. Well, let's turn on the superchargers. And the mask. Yeah, where's my sprint though, bro? Okay, that's better. Get to about there, maybe. Could go a lot further if we really felt like it. Looks a little blocked. Could tag that vehicle directly. Another roughneck over there too. We're gonna have to deal with the second lance over here. I wanna get the sprint. Look <laughs> at that sprint rage. Oh my god, okay. This might be pretty good too. I didn't even see this flank. We're gonna get worse of a tag barrage. We just killed a vehicle. Vehicle might be too heavy. How valuable how valuable do you think a four four tile tag barrage on four mechs is? Pretty valuable, right? Better than killing a single vehicle with it. Not made the place perfectly though, it's tough to say. Let's go here. Yeah. We have melee parts on that. It's a melee mech. Alright, let's turn these off. And let's attack ground with the oops, hold on. This, don't screw me. There we go. I saw it. I saw it. Locked on target. Okay. It's already redshift, dude. It's good. It's good. It's got a name related to speed. It's already got melee mech parts on it. It's doing the melee thing. I don't love my Centurion's position, but getting that kill is nice. Maybe we should have waited a little bit. We'll see. Okay, some sort of heavy fucking AC, it looks like, of some sort. Like an AC-10, maybe? AC-5? Not sure what that was exactly. All right, LRMs are available. Tag Barrage is down. I don't remember what we tag Barrage. Oh, we tag Barrage over there. That's right. And we have a shit ton of heat caused by the overloaded AMS, which jammed. Okay. This thing is already gone. We are likely to kill it before it gets a chance to move again. Where is my LRM range? Let's say I went to there. It's not optimal. What if I went to there? That band is, what is that band? So clan has no mi minimum, that's not in range. Okay. So we're still taking a penalty. Probably something like that's a lot of things you can see this guy from there. 
That may be better. Don't hate that. Okay. Alright, let's give him a sensor lock. Strip some of his defenses. Peg him with uh, LRMs. This is an overheat penalty. Okay. That's correct. I wasn't sure. They, I just, yeah. The red shift is a speed reference as well. Replace red button. Because remember red button was when you had the jump jets and you could fly around like the fucking orcs? Okay, we could get another centered tag barrage on these guys. On a guy who's not really in range to do anything this turn. Alternatively, we could try to get in range there. I don't know what the PPC range is. Are we in range? That's optimal for PPC. That's actually probably slightly better than. Another barrage on clumped up guys could be nice. But they're not particularly annoying right now. Seems okay. On the move. Full speed. All right, 79s on that, pretty nice. Not worried about the heat, am a little worried about the accuracy. Let's pull the Warlord out. Get some shots in here. Okay, three hits, pretty nice. Phase 18. So I can get a block shot there at outside optimal. Get there with the fortify. Should get there with the fortify. That's kind of interesting. Seventies. Oh shit! On a pulse that far out, with that much movement, stability is maybe an issue. Which side? This is his left side too, though. No, we're taking that shot, and we're gonna warlord that as well. Okay. It's good enough. That would take him out of the initiative order next turn. We can kill him. Would have been better to kill him outright, but it's still good. Oh, I forgot we get allies too, so allies might just execute him now. Pretty big uh, set of lasers there. Accuracy doing, our evasion pips doing their work there. Helicopter moving again? What is this? What alternate dimension is this? Difficulty goes way up, apparently. Fantastic. Helicopters work again? Holy crap. Easy game. Allies follow up on our downing a mech. Okay, I'm not thrilled with the tag barrage on the PPC boat. On the close range. Yeah, this is not a salvage mission. We got to break, uh, break even on... We spent so much money on mech, uh, mech changes chat. We've just built three heavy mechs today, basically. We, we just dunked a lot or sunk a lot of money into getting those going. So we gotta make that make up for that by getting out of the system too.
I'm also not insanely thrilled by that, uh, the AMS missile system. Mostly because I can't turn it on or off. Which means that at the beginning of the fight where these guys are shooting me from 100 miles away and the system's kicking in when it doesn't need to, that's super shitty. And I don't have ammo at the end of the fight when it does matter. Uh, with missions like these, do I need to move out? Well, my, centuri my cent uh, Centurion, my uh, my uh, Pulse Boat, and my um, Snubnose PPC, and my Melee are all fairly close range mechs. So yes, I do need to move out because they all the enemies always have these mixed weapon systems and we don't run mixed weapon systems particularly. All right. Uh, this is the new round. Round three, phase 22. This is the new round. All right, well, we're gonna reserve past that. I don't want him brawling into that when they have all their actions up. I do want him brawling into that. I'm gonna see if he can clean up four mechs on his own. The wasp shows up, probably flanking somebody from that position. Yeah. Commander. All right. Don't really want this guy taking the brunt. I don't want this guy taking fire fucking ever again, pretty much. But um, I'm not sure. Shooting at a vehicle. How heavy is this vehicle? This LRM vehicle. Not especially heavy, but not especially light either. Something like that fucks me for position. How about that? It's a little bit better. I think we can still range these things. Oh, that doesn't have LOS. I could go the opposite way with this guy. I could help uh, kill these things. I was hoping not to have to do that. There with blocked LOS. There with unblocked LOS. Seems okay. Do that. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this. Heat wise, we're stable. Not a particularly good shot. It's a pretty light mech. You say that ass? It's strange. Okay. Shots on that guy are wins for us. All right, this is our Centurion. Our Centurion, Centurion isn't in a great position, has a little bit of um, evasion pips, but not a ton, but they're too far out for us. To get closer for us, it's just not there yet. So we need to reserve down here. Means he might take some damage here that I don't want. Shots on the spider are not quite as nice for us. Seems pretty sweet, the being. Compare these mechs' accuracy to the accuracy on that fucking 100 tonner that had three weapons, each of which were basically one-shotting any piece of armor they hit. Uh, we're on phase 18. That one hasn't gone yet. We need to wait.
Um, I think the tag barrage is really good versus low hit point vehicles and only okay versus everything else than Thalus. I think it's way too good for one ton. I'm not sure that spot having to spot your enemies is going to be very good though. Like, I'm not sure that you're going to be able to reliably predict where AI moves, in which case it's probably a lost shot most of the time. I don't know if I would equip it then. Yeah. All right. This is round 17. We have three evasion pips here. We do get to shoot then move if we want. That's a really bad shot. Could get to a side flank on either of these guys. Side flank on that guy might result in a kill. I think this is a wait first though. Okay. Excellent against turrets and buildings. They're only okay versus turrets. Turrets are pretty heavily armored. They're good versus buildings, but buildings are literally I have yet to have a mission where my plan was kill the buildings and run. Every single time I've had a mission with buildings, it's been kill all the enemies, then kill the buildings. I don't know. I've never had a tag arrow for. All right, melee time. Um, I guess all their guys have probably gone, huh? I would like to begin. So we only have visual on this guy. So this is the only guy we can kill. Boo. We can't get him now, right? Not even close right now, I don't think. Okay. Waiting for orders. Let's turn the supercharger on and then see. Oh, not quite. Should be able to though, he's well within sprint range. There it goes. Seems fine. Only a 44% chance to hit though. Okay. I mean. 44% of the time, we hit him 100% of the time. Seems good. Yeah. Okay. Taking those nice, keeping our nice evasion there. Oh, they did have turns left too. I thought they were all done. Okay. Forgot to turn on the imager, which is too bad because the imager is accuracy on the auto cannon, as well as uh, I think it has plus gunnery. I don't know if it has plus gunnery or not. I think it helps unjam the fucking thing too. I think the Valkyrie is like a better Centurion right now. I'm really impressed with this mech once we got the supercharger and uh, other thing on it. This guy just skip his turn. Have we ever seen one of these jet things do anything? Actually, he reserved. No. I don't know what he did. I guess that counts as doing something. Tough to deny that. Well played. Is it ace pilot time? Nice. The big moves. Okay. Oh, it's a Marauder. I thought it was a jet thing. Why does he have a little jet on his head? It's like a mini jet thing. Oh, that's my Marauder. Okay. So it wasn't. I thought that was the other one. Okay. Um, they've all gone. Except for this thing. Still a master tactician. We can still just wait for that vehicle to go. It is LRMs. I don't really care that much, but let's let it get out of the way. 75 ton AC or PPC boat. Okay. All right, it's our turn. Ready to rock. Let's get in here. So I can get a sprint to there, getting side flanked by those guys, which kind of sucks. This is definitely outside of optimal. 
can jump into there. Uh, we're that is a so that's a plus three, also outside of range, as opposed to the sprint plus two. I think I prefer the sprint because next turn we can reposition better if we're not on a hill. So there's that. This is a pretty sad little shot. It's not that bad at 69, actually. Well, shit. Can support over there. Couldn't clear this shit up too. I kind of want to clear this shit up. Got a shot in the same side there. That's optimal too. Let's do that. Just miss all three. I may have. Okay, yeah. medium pulse time. Gonna sprint into there, but I don't think so. I think this is a jump. Got it. Oh hi. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, don't worry about the salvage, friend. Okay. New round. Plenty of evasion pips. Feels fine. Actually, us again on both these guys. Master Tactician kicking ass there, where we wait till the end of the round, then Master Tactician beginning of the round. Wonder which of those shot us. There's so many more mechs over here that I keep expecting to find. All right, options are the Centurion or the Pulse Boat. I think the Centurion's actions decide the Pulse Boat's actions. So I think I can just execute this vehicle if I want. Can't get close enough there. Actually, I mean, I'm going to get massively flanked doing something like that. What if we jumped up next to him and we're like, hi? It's aggressive. How badly flanked are we? Moderately? Alternatively, we could have a sprint over this way. Shoot that thing in the side. Probably actually better to do that. Uh, not there though, here. Oh, I can't rotate properly from that position. Get a guaranteed rotate there. Still pretty badly flanked, but not quite as close. All right, let's do this. I hate the inaccuracy we get from leaping. Only a 63 to hit. Only takes one hit to kill it though. Probably just go for this. This guy does have uh, only two stability. Why is this stability so fucking bad? Let's not get knocked over here. Okay. Great. I may have done the math wrong. I forgot cover bonus there. I may have had to hit twice, in which case I was lucky to kill it as opposed to anything I did skillfully. I'm happy to reserve here. Use the master tactician stuff again. Maybe could have lap up and try to do this, but I'm pretty sure you can't kill it in one volley. Uh, all right, where are we? LRMs. Um, kind of happy to wait. All right. 
right. Is it time to live the dream? All right, what's currently active? Uh, on, supercharger, off, everything else. Can we get in range to do something? Should be able to. Could toggle which one is on and which one is off too. There's a back hit on the Marauder. All right, let's do a couple of things. First of all, let's turn on our accuracy boost. Then let's turn off the supercharger. And then turn on the mask. Okay. There it populates our stuff, great. And then let's go for it. We want to take it from the rear like that. Okay. Oh, I should have fuck that should have been a um a berserk hit too for the accuracy. Oh, we got penalized for it too. Feels bad. Should have been berserk. We had it. There's no reason not to berserk there. Probably would have gave us two accuracy. Probably would have put us around 90% and put that in one shot range. Small mistakes. All right, snub nose PPC is active as well as a tag barrage. This guy has been hit with a tag barrage in the rear once already. We can do massive amounts of structure damage to him with another one. I wonder if we're in range for that. Just out of curiosity. Oops. No. Okay. Waiting for order. Tough to get in range this turn of the PPCs. Maybe this is time to go support down this way. Something like that with a tag barrage seems okay. Especially since we didn't get the kill last round because I forgot to fucking activate uh, Berserker. Need to place it behind him. Like to not hit my own guy. I'm not sure if that actually centralizes the explosion behind him or not. I don't really know how that works. Fire. Hit my own guy. Uh, not hit behind him apparently. Annoyingly. Okay. A lot of individual hits there, not high damage, unsettled, sure. Uh, we're still reserving here. It's an orbital strike. Did you put guns on the Argo? It is an orbital strike. It's called a orbital, a, that one's called a tag barrage, which is, I think not supposed to be orbital. I think it's supposed to be artillery. I think it's supposed to call in an artillery strike from off map. There is a tag orbital, which does that, except it does it from the, presumably from space. Yeah, exactly. The tag is tagging it for the artillery. Where did the guns come from? 
Well, we're doing a mission for a government or a uh, clan here or whatever else, so presumably it's related to that. Nice hitting itself, always fun. All right, who is this? This is our missiles. We would like to do missile damage to that guy. Why is he turned weirdly to the right like this? It's right side, strong side. Barely. Or we can get behind him. It's pretty close. This is round 13, they've already gone. This might be a time to do that. Sprint to like here. Probably a little bit close. Is that inside our optimals? It's too close. It's also can't hit the guy I want to hit. Can't rotate enough. That's outside. Looks pretty good. Okay, we're gonna go there. It's only a single move, which I'm not super thrilled about. Alright. 90s seem good. Do it again in a moment. Uh can't say I do, Silvercock. But it sounds like a great time. I wish I had been there for it. Maybe next time, if we're lucky. Could be good. Really bummed that we didn't spine that guy. Right. More shots of Beta Pulse, sure. We're gonna get to act here in a second. To go. All right, so we have a non-flank, that's a flank move with a walk. We probably wanna go first next time and we have uh, Ace Pilot. So that seems pretty good. What's his left side like? Right side slightly wounded, left side is untouched. Back is pretty tasty too. Does I love Nightbot. All right, shots in the back. Decent. All right, new round. How do we roll? Oh, what? Master Tactician failing us. How are we at, oh, it's, no, this is the new round. Seven? That's the definition of failure. Do we maybe double tap it? This is round 27. No one else is close to that, right? We can see everyone else's initiative. Okay. Well, we've got a cover for him now. That move was pretty safe until he rolled a fucking seven and now it's not at all safe. He is full armored uh, on the back for that chassis, but. Okay. 
So we have to try to cover for that guy. And the problem is actually this guy. This guy's watching ER medium lasers, which are going to suck just fine. Thunderbolt 15s. Actually, Thunderbolt 15s do fairly good damage, too. This guy's running magmas and a large laser. We're going to need to execute one of these guys. It's one tile out of range. Uh, we maybe can kill this guy. We got damage on him. If we can get a shot on his back, he dies. Shot through the front kind of does the trick, but not really. He's got a lot of armor left there. I could do our own version of jumping up over there. This guy's back armor is a little bit less great, but still pretty good. I can't, I can't, I cannot get into a spot to shoot him in the back. It's very unfortunate. So we're going to do a non-optimal shot on this guy. Sucks. Okay. Eighty-four. These on. Nope. Okay, eighty-eight. Uh, single hit doesn't kill him. We're likely to hit him twice shooting left side. Do we called shot it. Uh, first of all, any of this lost target moved, we can up the shot by sensor locking him. Okay. And now, what happens if we offensive push him? Down to 88, but we can call the shot. 56, leg is 92, torso is 89. Takes two shots to kill that torso. Center torso is 57. Legs at 100. Takes two shots to kill the leg, too. Although, apparently, it's a 92%. Is knocking him down good enough? Double centers a kill, but it's a 57 to hit. It's unlikely that occurs. It's an 88 times a 57. It has to, they both have to connect for it to be relevant. If we just hit him once in the front, it almost doesn't matter. He's at 98 armor there. Also, don't know if I looked at if he's fortified in any way. Doesn't look like he is. I think maybe shooting that torso is more interesting. Why does he have a case in a location that doesn't have ammo? He's got... Oh, does he have XL engine? Didn't notice. Good call. Alright, we'll go for the torso then. All right, Ready. time for surgery. Kind of would like to surgically remove this guy. How's his back armor? 40. Standing by. Uh, let's see what we can run here. We turn off. See, nothing's on failure right now, but one of these things is on. The mask is on right now. Still go after him. What type of damage do we need to hit him with? It's not a particularly great hit. I'm going to go for the increased. All right, so we'll go Berserker. And we'll go after this guy. From, is that back still? It's side, I want back. Back it is. Okay, I don't really care about flames.
I don't know how that... What? Did we hit the arm? I don't know how much more I can take of this mech failing in a row like that. It's too bad. Okay, that at least was a side shot, not a uh, back torso. Okay. Having that seven roll on Pathfinder is pretty brutal. I was so pleased with the Master Tactician stuff too. Okay, this is one of the scary turns. Okay, went after the Centurion, that's fine. All right, where are we? Snub noses moving over this way. Got a back shot versus this thing. Good to go. Is it blocked? It's outside of optimum blocked there. We get better. It's outside of optimal. Inside optimal on this guy though. Left side shots on this guy. Don't know. Order. All right. Guess we're going here. Okay. All right. Do we have imaging on this guy? Nope. Rangefinder. Okay. All right. No, oh, what the fuck just happened there? Game didn't like it, whatever it was. Mission's been decent so far. A lot of firepower. Two sided. Apparently, the helicopter parked directly on top of our guy. Perfect. That unit finally killed itself. It's been working on it for like four turns. I think, to be fair, we give it the benefit of a kill. All right, so we can easily kill this thing by flanking it. It'd be nice to get behind this guy, which I cannot do. Can't even get side shots on him. Ah, I can. Probably outside optimal. Probably. I think we just kill this. Can't. And disappointing fucking news is that. Really? His back is totally protected right now? AI skill or luck. All right, so this guy has now rolled, I think from last to first. No, somebody else. This is missiles. Missile flank on that guy is really nice. Where did that come from? One tile over to missile flank that. I have a tag barrage up too, but I don't want to do that. That is back, that might get a kill here. I've got a sensor lock. Gotcha. Okay, 
I think we might have hit something along the way. Alright, now we get to use this guy. Are we happy with the shots on the side? Arms pretty low. Back looks really juicy though. I don't know have LOS there. Okay. Copy that. All right. Warlord this shot. Okay, straight in the back. If we could stop hitting arms from behind, that would be fucking phenomenal. All right, boomstick is unjammed. We don't need to be running. I think all of our other modules are off. Off, on, off, off, great. Uh, we can try getting some hits on this roughneck, which survived. From behind seems reasonable. Dude, he's still alive. What was his back at? Like negative five? Twelve. Disappointment, man. Disappointment with the with redshift during this fight. Getting range to finish this guy off from behind seems reasonable. Surprised that's even a flank. I have to take one more point of inaccuracy to rotate like that, but it means we don't get so heavily flanked. Excuse me? How are we not killing these mechs, man? Absolutely insane. He just protected his back, too. He's got, like, full frontal armor. This thing just flanked us. With something nasty. Ah, EC5, not that nasty. All right, so he's not killable right now, and he is going to go after because um, all of his back is protected. Certainly not going to be wasting rounds on him. This guy is, presumably. No. Uh, is his armor? His armor is pretty. He'll die, though, if we shoot him in the front. Can I see melee him? I wonder if melees will kill him. It's pretty damn close. What is our melee accuracy on this guy? 69%. Also can't hit him in the back though. Fine, auto cannons it is. Last rounds, feeling the, the lack of ammo on this guy right now. Side shots fine. Do we need to put two rounds into him or is one will one suffice? Left side. If it hits arm, it's 48. He's probably in cover right now. So we're only doing 80%. So we're only doing 80 damage. That's 48 plus. No, that's actually a fair amount of fucking left torso armor. No, it has to be both rounds. Okay. Oh, he's fine. I guess. Jesus Christ. The mechs are, uh, looks like we need to restart the game, by the way, after this mission. But these mechs are not, uh, not going down. So many mechs running around at low HP here. 
Okay, so what's left? That guy gets to go. This guy gets to go. The helicopter gets to go. Not even mad here. Hopefully he'll stand up again and do nothing. And then I can shoot him in the back next turn. I've been pretty mad at that hit. Who even was that? Oh, the, the stupid Marauder just came over and punched... Um, Redshift? Actually a fair amount of damage there. Alright. Yeah. Starting with LRMs. Somehow this guy is still alive. Wouldn't be bad to LRM that guy in the back. This is going to be probably too close. Still hit him with the clan ones. Start softening him up. Okay. Yeah, my guy got hit fucking twice in full armor and ejected last mission. This guy gets repeatedly nailed in the back and he's just like, whatever, I'm good. All right, shots there. We need to make sure this thing dies. How much damage did we take? Missed us. All right, I don't necessarily, this thing is pretty much dead, right? No. Well, if we hit him in the center torso, it is. Do I need to boomstick it? I really prefer not to. Not letting me stand behind it, apparently. What? Oh, there it is. Really prefer not to, but I want it to die, so I guess I'm going to. Killed his leg. We are never going to kill a mech this mission, are we? We left this guy alive as well. His torso has an unknown number of health. Who just went before us? And kind of an unreal mission in terms of this shit. Oh shit, you know what I don't have? Just realized this guy, um, well, maybe I could split shot. Fifty percenters on this guy. Side shot on the left, not even a back shot. No, nope. okay. No ammo here. Got kind of cooked there. Almost went through armor. 75 in the back, a point blank there. Uh, what does a hit on this guy look like? Front or side only?
do want to help with this. Should be able to get a shot somewhere. I feel like they can handle that guy. I feel like we ought to be able to handle this guy and cannot. I guess that's better than a random jump. Okay. So depressing, the shots, this mission. We did know we were going into this pretty light. Five, five of our seven with uh, all of our biggest mechs in the shop right now. They're all meleeing our melee mech. Kind of a win for us most of the time when they do that. We do have melee reduction damage there, regular reduction, etc. Is the helicopter going to shoot my melee mech now? We'll never know. Getting laggy. Need to restart the program after this mission. What you doing, helicopter? Besides freezing everything. Called shot center torso from behind. Oh, he's down to not behind, right? Shot of the giant spider. Yeah. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Thank you very much, Cfo Gaming, for the five gifted subs. Welcome, Ski Bat, KU Gamer, Michael, Zan120, and Totenshin. Courtesy of Cfo Gaming. Thanks, man. It fills you with Appreciate the support. All right, we can rocket this guy to the back. That seems like a wait. That's the Marauder. The Marauder's facing away now, so he can't be rocketed in the back. Well, he can. We can rocket him with this thing, I guess. Can we shoot that guy in the back? Not really. Another poor fool okay. lost in time and space. Kirchhoff, welcome. Ready from the stagecoach. All right, soften that back up. Maybe the allies can kill him from behind if he keeps standing in that position. Uh, this is just a reserve. Maybe we'll do some punching there in a minute. We'll see. I just reserved you. Can reserve again. Oh, shh. Didn't want to reserve Dust Raker. That was a mistake. Um, can we get behind this guy yet? If not, why the fuck not? Guy's a champion. All right, so we can get to his side, shoot left side. How is his left side looking these days? Great. It's looking great. Thanks for asking. Guess we'll kill all the armor on him. That's very kind of you, Sifo. All right, shots on his front. Perfect. Killing some more things that don't kill him. I think he ejected, I guess. Okay. Maybe shoot that guy in the back. No, the guy on the ground. It's pretty useless. How about flanking the guy over there? Right here. Yeah, I'll show you how it's done. Like this. Perfect. That's what I've been trying to do all mission long with the, all the guys who are getting these back flanks.
All right, this was a fine mission. Got a lot of kind of low rolls, a couple of mistakes ourselves. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Jesus. Thirsty work with the five more gifted subs. Welcome, Maskell Palace. Adam M. Cray. P3. <laughs> Dude, your name is un unpronounceable. P3. PS3. Frick424. Seeks Ow and Loxorus. Courtesy of Thirsty Work. Thanks, guys. Another another hype train. It fills you with determination. Sweet guess. Do I take it from the large amount of support we're getting for these this game the last couple of days that we're pretty pleased with BattleTech as a whole? Especially if we can get this difficulty up to a playable amount. All right, we want to kill this guy. This guy is vulnerable everywhere. He's at three health from the torso. We should just be able to stomp him. So let's just stomp him. Seems good. All right, successful mission. We took a little bit of extra damage. A um, couple rounds were a bit sketchy. That round where I jumped the uh, the pulse boat at the end of the round, and then he rolled a seven on initiative for the next round. That was terrifying. I think that was off a double to uh, a double weight. We got to be careful with that. Maybe master tactician doesn't help with two two weights. What's the difference between this and standard battle tech? It's an overhaul mod. It does a lot of things. Okay, payout one point two million. It's quite nice after drop cost reduced too. All right. Fair chunk of experience. Um, we can get our fifth fire starter if we want it. I would put this together in preparation to build it as a flamer. Uh, AC5 Kaliyama Plus. Whatever the fuck this is. All right, it's another laser AMS. Pretty much given up on ever picking up ammo for our regular AMSs, so maybe laser AMSs are okay. Periphery rifle. Uh, a case two, which we actually need. Three endo steels for cash. FCS energy plus two. That's weird. I don't know what to do with that. Plus one accuracy energy weapons. It's a FCS. <laughs> now anonymous gifters as well. Thank you guys. Martipo, Crusader, Kalric, Juba Jumaje, and Dahi. Welcome. Courtesy of the anonymous hype train facilitator. Thank you, guys. That's an interesting piece compared to this one. So this is the one we've been using. This is what we use on our lasers, mostly. Is there any extra heat? Yeah, 15 energy heat is a lot. That's a lot, a lot. We wouldn't actually be able to run that, but it's interesting. 15 heat sinks. Um, sensors advanced jammer. Haven't seen this yet. This takes one ton, takes advanced warfare system. <laughs> Rain derv now with the gifted subs as well. TGK Hamel. Raz Grizzle, Brutalis, 3X, and Lemstar, welcome. Thanks, guys. 90% to the level 5 hype train again from this craziness. Absolutely wild. Alright. Active sensor probes, 2. Bonus to sensor detection. 1 ECM field everyone in range. ECM jammer reduces enemy sensor checks by 1. So this is... Takes our advanced warfare suite. So it takes a jammer. 
takes a beagle probe and takes sensors another poor fool <laughs> lost in time and space and bits from mc fiegel thank you for the 1000 bits <laughs> and five more subs from one heart one mind das d why for no but no Ream dot, vault Sue, and fancy zergling. Thanks, guys. So many, so much hype. From the stage coach. <laughs> Man, I don't even know how to react as a streamer with like so much support all of a sudden, like all in a burst like that. It's like a little overwhelming. So thank you, guys. Quitters never win. I thought I saw SRM ammo, but no. This is anti. Missile ammo. And I missed another 10 sub bomb before that? Did I really? Arrives. It fills you with oh, I did. I missed Angamar to gifting 10 more subs. Holy crap. So many all at once. Angamar gifting subs to a Torsuian, the Better Ben, Random Dutch Dude, Sea Snakes, Boyos, Cheesy Cakeman, Jorbles, Barris, Punek, and Su Smooth Tilt. 10 gifted subs from Angimar. Subscriber arrives. We are going to be sub-training for days. Days and days and days. All right. We have one piece of loot here. What are we doing with it? A renewal. Welcome back. Case 2 is not a bad pickup. It's probably the lowest value. What is a spiked wang? 40% armor weight. 25% armor amount. Another poor fool. Lost Reduced melee damage, space. resistance to crits, 20% melee damage, 10% walking distance, 10% sprinting distance. Seems like an AI thing. Fresh from the stage coach. I was pretty excited about the sensor advanced jammer. This frees up, you think about this, this is, I don't have to run a beagle with this on a front rank guy, which frees up an entire ton, Welcome. ton and a half. Which means I could throw in a um, an AMS on a guy like that. I haven't seen one of these yet. This looks good to me. Another poor fool lost in time and space. Yeah, if I do that thirsty work, that's certainly an idea. A generous bestowal. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh no, it just caught up to that donation. <laughs> Oh, okay. Another poor fool lost in time. And yeah, but we're short on sensors right now. So mostly what we're losing in the sensor slot is either um, might be one of the initiative sensors, but we're basically, we have more mechs now than we have good sensors, or it might be a little bit of um, sensor strength on one of our melees. Now, I didn't like this, the laser plus plus. 25% energy cost for 15% energy heat is really, really, really Winners hurtful. Never win. Like really busted bad for us. So it's between this here on the sensors advanced and the case two for me. Possibly we could take this and hope that one day it became good on something, this one here. Increase energy weapon range for PPCs and large lasers, maybe, but you're not going to be able to run this. I mean, PPCs put out insane amounts of heat. So are large lasers. Welcome back. So it's either the case two or that. I think it's probably. There was something else up here, too. What was it? Oh, the laser AMS. <laughs> 